Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about MetaMask. This is a built-in Ethereum wallet for Chrome-based browsers like Google Chrome and any Chromium fork. Maybe you've heard of a browser like Brave. Uh, MetaMask works in there as well. We're gonna be talking about MetaMask for a couple reasons. One, it's the best browser built-in wallet. You know, for a reason, everybody uses it. Over 1 million users just in the last month used it to try to make money on Ethereum with decentralized finance. But, but what is that? Well, basically, DeFi has been leading a huge surge in MetaMask use because MetaMask allows you to participate and interact with all of these, say, like things like Uniswap, these decentralized exchanges, yield farming, liquidity mining and everything in between so learning how to use metamask is super valuable it's also simple and free and and not only is it in your browser but they also have a mobile version now but today we're focusing on a tutorial for you to understand what is metamask and how to use it and how to get some ethereum in there on desktop which includes laptops as well so without further ado let's roll the voscoin intro but first i want you to see our metamask Tails, the best Sheba, and I, I think she kind of looks like the MetaMask icon. MetaMask is a crypto wallet and gateway to blockchain apps, aka dApps. Not only is it trust of over 1 million users worldwide, they had 100, 1 million active users just last month. So, uh, yeah they're booming if you don't want to get left behind and or you just kind of want to join the party uh statistically this is where it's at so let's look at the basics how do you install metamask for your browser well you can go to the metamask website we've got all this stuff linked out in the video description below and you can click install metamask for chrome when you click that it'll bring you to the chrome web store and you can simply click add to chrome or in this case for this video i'm using brave so it's the same thing that just says add to brave so i will add that extent extension click click downloading adding to brave it should be a seamless process it should pretty much happen automatically and you will notice it pops up right there welcome metamask look at this cute fox or is that a shiba no, no i think it's just a fox so let's get started how do you set it up? Do you know what a seed phrase is? It's like literally the keys to your wallet. I always opt out of data collection stuff. That's just me personally. You put your password in here and you click next. Once you do that, you will reveal the secret phrase. There's a couple of things you can do here. I recommend you get a nice little notebook or something and you put like very important on it or maybe very not important if you have wandering eyes and write your seed down. These are the, these 12 words are the access to your wallet. So please understand when you do this, you have full control. OK, so so no one can take this from you. No one can take your money. No one can freeze it. No one can seize it. But if you lose these words and you lose like the your computer um, or it gets corrupted or whatever and you, you can't access it and you have to reload your seed phrase to get back in your secret backup phrase and you don't have it, your stuff's gone. There's no like, oh, call MetaMask and they'll go ahead and restore your account for you. They can't do that. You can download it like this, but it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. I like to keep things off the computer. Kind of reduces your like, like security risk there. So let's say you went ahead and you wrote it down. Nice. Now we've got to confirm the seed phrase. I put it in a little notepad right over here just for the sake of this video so I can uh, quickly access it because basically I knew they were going to do this. This ensures basically what they're doing right now and every wallet does this. They are double checking that you wrote it down right or you saved it properly or <laughs> that you saved it at all. Okay, so that's my seed phrase, and that's the double check. Save a backup, that's a good point, in multiple places. Do you have someone you trust with everything in life? Some people don't, I get that, I understand. Some people do. I got like one person outside of my household that I can actually trust. Anyway, now you set up, just like that. It's very easy, I don't. I hope I'm not making it seem like challenging or daunting or anything like that. I mean, you literally click, click, 
you get a seed phrase, you write it down, you double check it by putting it back in, and now you're in. You can click this, and you'll see right here, I'll just paste it in the top of the browser bar. That's your Ethereum address. And it's gonna be different than mine. This is a unique address. Okay, so if you have some Ethereum in another wallet, you can send it to this address, and now it is located in your MetaMask. You can click this little pin icon, and now it's all, this cute little fox is always here for quick access. Okay, nice. This brings me to my next point though, because MetaMask is worthless if you don't have any Ethereum or any other Ethereum-based token on it, an ERC-20 token. You know, if it's a, an Ethereum token, you can send it to your MetaMask. Okay, so say you have like Tether, USDT. Okay, you can add that. You don't even have to do all that. When it shows up in your account, MetaMask will automatically recognize it and it'll add it down here. But because I don't have any in there, I just added it manually to, to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So there's a lot of ways you can go out there and buy Ethereum. Tons of ways, tons of options now. In my opinion, uh, to thanks to today's video sponsor for even making this kind of stuff possible so that we can focus on this all day every day, which is really fun and exciting, it's crypto.com, okay? So they have an app. They also have a web-based exchange, but if you're a U.S. citizen, you're not allowed to participate in the web-based exchange. If you are a U.S. citizen, along with like most most everyone else, everywhere else in the world as well, you can download their app. You get 50 bucks for free in cryptocurrency just for signing up, and that ends at the end of this month. It's getting reduced to 25. So if you're thinking about this, I would jump on it. Even if you don't do the, the terms for the sign-up bonus, you still get the 50 allocated in your account, and you can have the option to do so later. But the point here at the point here is that it's easy. You got to go through basic KYC verification. That's going to be the case with any, you know, good exchange here if you want to turn dollars into Ethereum. You do that stuff and right now they have a promotion you can use your debit card and buy in and no fee. Obviously you can do bank transfers and everything in between. You can put crypto in here, trade it and buy Ethereum with that and you can withdraw Ethereum from there from their app right into your MetaMask. So I'd be in the app, I'd put that address in, click withdraw, click, click verify, double check, yep. And then boom, it would end up right here in my MetaMask. I'm gonna walk you through a couple basic transactions here in a second, but uh, before we do that, I, I wanna review something. Okay, there's two sites, I have them linked out below. It's called Gas, but it's not the kind you put in your car. There's ethgasstation.info, and then there's also Ethereum Gas Tracker on the Etherscan Block Explorer. I personally like this one better, but a lot of people will end up like referring to this one. So with every Ethereum transaction you send, you have to use gas. It's what's basically computed. It's like a micro unit of Ethereum and Ether, and uh, it's the transaction fee. And it varies. The more people that are using Ethereum, the more gas you have to pay because it's just kind of getting congested. Think of it like a highway and more and more cars are on there. The price of gas that a user offers generally should reflect how fast they want a transaction to be mined. While offering a high gas price can speed up confirmation some, there's a limit to the accelerations. So like if you just say like boom, one Ethereum to send this transaction, which like you're paying an extra one Ethereum to send whatever you're sending. Uh, that's basically a waste. There's some kind of limit here. For example, this confirmation time x gas price chart for the last uh, 1000 blocks summarizes all this data and what we see here if your gas price is about 53 gui if i'm saying that right um you know your estimated time in the transaction pool is 1158 seconds you can see as you increase your gas price the average time in the tx pool significantly decreases to the point where if you're putting in uh, 60 gui you should have an average time of 30 seconds. But if you go 53, you'll likely be in there for over a thousand seconds, which may matter depending on what you're doing. A cool feature about MetaMask and all this gas stuff is that when you go to send coins, we put in that address, it's actually just our own address in this case, and it gives you options, slow, average, and fast. Okay, and we can even go to advanced options. And from here, we can see it, uh, exact uh, gas prices in GUI. And we can see the uh, live gas predictions here. And basically, you know, it, it shows you how many confirmations uh, seconds you're gonna, confirmation time in seconds you're gonna have here. So if you use like 30 GUI, it's estimating 1,200 seconds. Whereas if you choose this price of 84, you know, which is expensive, that's an expensive gas fee an ex expensive transaction fee in general. 
but it's estimating your time to be about 85 seconds. It's estimating your time to be about 62 seconds, a uh, significant drop from 1,200. If we do something like say 50, it'll move us along on the chart and you could see, you know, if you just bump up marginally to like 53, that you, you move off that whole cliff. You jump in front of all of these people in the line. It's like cutting people in line. The more it's pay to win. Okay, the more you pay, the further up in the line you can start. And they can only move as far as the first people in that line. So if everyone's consistently outbidding you, they will consistently be going in front of you until that backlog is cleared. So let's go ahead and run through a MetaMask transaction demo here. So I went to Uniswap. I'm in Uniswap's app, their decentral decentralized exchange. Like what is literally driving a massive amount of MetaMask usage and adoption here and, and really Ethereum usage and adoption. So this is super cool stuff. First things first, you gotta click connect a wallet. So I can use MetaMask here and uh, I haven't unlocked it with my password. So I gotta put my password in. Once that happens, your page will look something like this. And so for this example, I'm gonna turn Ethereum into a stable coin. When I do that, I'm gonna use USDC. It's a stable coin uh, that is just pegged to the US dollar. And what I wanna do is I wanna turn this into $500 uh, of the USDC stable coin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click swap. And I need to confirm the swap. So I'm turning 1.3 Ethereum into 500 USDC. I'm paying this fee. It's gonna have a very, very tiny price impact. And it gives you kind of a slippage here, a, a maximum. Uh, that could happen because this is a decentralized exchange and it's always adjusting the prices to put it simply. So it shows my gas fee and the total amount with the gas fee. And this is MetaMask just right here popping up, doing its thing, why it's so useful. I click confirm and just like that, the uh, transaction is submitted. Because I use the recommended gas fee, which it computes to try to get you a fast transaction time so you're a happy customer, even if you pay a little bit more, it happened pretty quickly. And uh, just like that, the whole the transaction has been confirmed. It was confirmed within eight seconds and I, I submitted it 20 seconds ago and you can see that the whole router, every all the details took place here. And just like that, you're a MetaMask user. It's actually pretty easy. So don't be intimidated or find it like a daunting task or scared to get into stuff. I mean, just like that, you, so if you watch this video and you follow it step by step, you were able to understand what MetaMask is as well as gas and then install, okay, download MetaMask, set up your wallet, get a unique seed phrase, write it down, store it. Now you're a full-fledged crypto wallet creator. Then you went out there and you bought some Ethereum using whatever exchange you wanted to. In our opinion, again, we like the crypto.com app. And then once you get that Ethereum in there, you understood kind of what's going on. You understood that you can also send Ethereum ERC-20 tokens into it. And then it followed along. You went ahead and you spent or used some Ethereum on the Uniswap to buy into a stable coin or trade it into whatever other coin or token you wanted to do. Okay, so you used MetaMask to interact with a decentralized application, a decentralized exchange, a DEX, and really you're right now in the mix of all the decentralized finance DeFi stuff. So with, I don't know how long this video is gonna end up, maybe like 15 minutes, in about 15 minutes, you could hopefully, if I did this video decent at all, go from knowing not too much to being proficient and able to do this stuff. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. We're about to hit 150,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And I need your help to get there. So smash the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on MetaMask. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.